Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're looking at Galatians 3.28. It says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male or female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. The great promise of Scripture, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that uh, the salvation is provided to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a Jewish person or you're a, a Gentile like me, uh, all those all, who are not Jewish or Gentiles. It doesn't matter if you're female or male or it doesn't matter if you're black, white, red, yellow, brown. It doesn't matter what color you are and who you are, what economic status you, you, you have, whether you're uh, enormously rich immensely rich, or you're, you're just uh, a, a poor, poor person. You, you live hand to mouth. The good news of the gospel of that is that Jesus Christ died for you. That if you respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ, you repent of your sins and trust Christ as your Savior, you can and you will be saved if you put your faith and trust in him. And as such, you know, we are, the church is a beautiful tapestry, I believe, of, of all colors and 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 um and uh social economic and and cultural um uh, cultures of, of, of around the world and that i believe the church should be open to that and receptive to that um to love one another regardless of of what background they may have and i dare say that there may be many, and I'm not saying it's just a white problem. I know it's a brown problem. I know it's a black problem. I know it's a red problem. I know it's a yellow problem, and that is out of prejudice. And uh, we all, there's nothing wrong with maybe preferring to be around people of like uh, cultural background, but in truth, that is, um, in our, 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 our faith in Christ now supersedes our cultural backgrounds. And uh, we are to love everybody. We're supposed to love every believer, and uh, because it's going to be, it's going to be a, like I said, a beautiful tapestry at the foot of the cross when we get there. It's not going to be a white heaven, and it's not going to be a brown heaven. It's not going to be a black heaven. It's not going to be a yellow heaven or a red heaven. It's going to be uh, a heaven of all who have been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ, regardless of who they are. And, you know, if, we're, if you're carrying in the old man, the old man says that I'm going to judge you based on your color. The old man says I'm going to judge you based on what other people of, of um, your social background, uh, your cultural background has done to me in the past. The old man says uh, I am better than you and uh, I don't want you in my church. I don't want your influence around my children. I don't want you uh, marrying my daughter, although you are, you're a born-again believer growing in Jesus Christ. You know, something's wrong with that. And uh, it's sin, and it's wrong, and it's wicked. And you and I are not, we are called to be different from this world. As believers, there is no place whatsoever for racism uh, in, in the family of God. We are all one in Christ. As a matter of fact, the Bible says we're all adopted into the family of God, that he has made us part of the family of God. And when you um, exhibit that, uh, that racist tendencies towards other fellow believers in Jesus Christ, you know what? You're doing it against your own family members. And that's not right. And that's not right. If you're carrying in those old feelings towards those of a different culture, I encourage you, I implore you to confess it as sin and ask God to deliver you from those evil thoughts. There is no room whatsoever for prejudice, for racism in the house of God, among the people of God. And if you're in a church that promotes that, you're not in a godly church, you need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. Our church is welcome is open to people of all all races and all cultures as long as they're born again in Jesus Christ. And um, and I hope you belong to a church like that as well.
Again, uh, we welcome everybody. We love everybody who, who are born again because they were bought with the same blood that bought me and bought you. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.